Good morning, everyone. Tammy here. Welcome to my channel. Um, welcome to Fantastic Friday, um, which hopefully throughout the summer will also be Fun Fact Friday. So today's fun fact um, comes from Carol at Free Spirit Arts, and she asks um, if I ever sang karaoke, and if so, uh, what song did I sing, or what do I sing, or you know, whatever. I have never sang karaoke. <laughs> nope, never have. Mm, I'm not gonna say never will because you know, you never know. But if I were to sing karaoke, highly likely it will be a John Denver song. Um, and I do have a funny story about that. So um, my f I have four friends um, that I have known for, uh, see, I'm 59. 40, 45 years. So I've known these women for a long, long, long time. Um, high school together, um, ups and downs and um, divorces and kids and you know, everything. And we try very, very hard to go um, on a an outing, like away from home for a long weekend. We try to do it twice a year some years it ends up being three times some years like um, the, the past couple years um, we're lucky to do one um, but we are we do communicate every day so we are on signal and we chat um, basically we chat all day long we just send silly things and and um, it's great like it's I'm I feel very connected to them um, like they're my sisters and um, I, I'm very fortunate like extremely lucky to have them in my lives um, so on one of our outings um, and we usually do wine tasting although we're going away from that a little bit because I kind of stopped drinking um, one of my other friends stopped drinking and so um, and then with COVID again you know it's been two and a half years so before we had a lot of fun going wine tasting and on one of these times, we we were um, driving back from um, dinner, so we went out to dinner, and I don't I I don't know if John Denver came on the radio. I, I don't know how it came about, but we we all started singing John Denver at the top of our lungs, like and not just country roads or Rocky Mountain High. We were doing ev like his dis discography, and the funny thing was, I probably, I would say eighty percent of his songs I know every single word, like <laughs> every word. So we were singing, and they were following along with me, which is hilarious because in my mind I'm an awful singer, like just terrible. Um, I grew up listening to my mom, who who is one hundred percent tone deaf, like it is it hurts to listen to her sing. So I have, I kind of have that in the back of my head. Um, and I'm not sure why, because I was on in a, uh, this was of course in grade school before everything changes, but I was in a competitive choir. So we actually would go and compete. And so, so I, I know I probably can sing. I'm just super self-conscious about it. And I know it's because my mom like it is just painful. Um, to hear her sing so um so yeah that we were I never laughed so hard we were laughing so hard and they were like oh my god Tammy I can't believe you know you literally know every word to his, his songs I'm like yeah I do um that was something my mom and I did when I was uh, uh growing up is we went to John Denver concerts so whenever he was in town we would go see him um it it was so fun like the greatest thing uh, the very last concert I did see him in the 90s um, it was it was a couple years before he died um, uh, but my mom couldn't go she was uh, her and my dad were on a road trip and um, I drug my husband even though he didn't want to go and he ended up loving it um, but I do not sing karaoke karaoke if I ever do sing karaoke it will like I said likely be John Denver um, 
And thanks for the question, Carol. That's that's a really fun question. And even though I haven't sung karaoke, I have I have sung at the top of my lungs in a car with my four friends, um, just having the time of our lives. So um, I to me that that was probably more fun than karaoke would have been. But uh, thanks for the question. And uh, I think I'm going to do a little creating today on this fantastic Friday. Um, so I'll see you in the next segment. Bye. Okay, welcome back to the next segment of Fantastic Friday. So I am still working on Alice. And um, I did find this book. Oh, my desk is kind of messy. Um, um, at the thrift store, I went to, um, you know, I just went to just look for some stuff. And I found this book and... Um, I found this Alice book. Um, this one's in really good shape. Um, if I do, whoops, sorry about that. That was my glue stick falling over. If I do another Alice book, I think it'll be an altered book and I'll do it in this. It's, it's really in really great shape. And, um, I like the pages are just the right color. They're, they're just lovely. Um, but I am setting this aside from now for now. Um, just because I'm so close to being done with my other Alice book. So I've been making some ephemera from um, this book. So I've already been cutting some things out. So let's see if I can quickly show you what I've been making. So I made a po I need pocket. So I made this pocket and it's just black cardstock. And I just, I, I love it. It's so simple. It, it matches with actually the graphics that are in the kit that I'm using. So they're the same, um, basically the same um, graphics, the same pictures uh, were used in, um, yeah, in in the, the digital kit, the down the rabbit hole that I'm using. Yeah, in fact, this, this is just on a tag all by itself. Um, so this is a fun little um, pocket that I made that that will go um, you know on the side of a, a journal page so I made these um, let's see what else did I make yeah not these oh yeah I made a few big tags that I really um, really happy with them they turned out really good um, yeah so I've made all of these um, I made that And that so these are all all of these black and whites those are all from um, the book the little I don't even know how much it was less than a dollar I think um, so there's that one and this so this is a um, like a double pocket so there's a pocket here and a pocket there so that's fun and then there's this one. I love the Rick Rack. It like matches the blue almost perfectly. And then I did another one with the Rick Rack down the side. So that's that's the Alice that I've been making. I, I only really had a couple of days to create this week, um, just because we've been uh, busy uh, at the rental. And then these are from a video I did earlier in the week uh, for the um, hashtag uh, Getting Creative collab. Um, with the uh, Junk Journal Ideas and Inspiration Facebook group. Uh, so those are fun. So yeah, so so I had an idea. I want to do a couple of different um, tuck spots. Um, so my idea was... Yes, so... I thought that I would take this. I've been using a lot of the book pages out of here too. Um, you know the the text. Oops, the text part. Um, that's what these are. The background. This is text from this Alice book, actually. Okay, so that's one that I'm going to use. 
I also want to use, there was another one in here. Actually, I do, I'm gonna use this too. Just kind of to remind me. Sorry if you can hear that noise, I have a fan going. We're, um, we're in for a heat wave. I knew this would happen. My husband and I have been talking about it. It's l literally never been, I mean, I would say maybe five days at the very most in, t in 2020 that have hit 70, 70 or above. Um, and I just kept telling my husband, when it comes, it's gonna be bad. When it comes, it's gonna be bad. And sure enough, now we have a heat advisory. So it's supposed to be um, in the high 80s uh, to low 90s. Yeah, so we're in for that. So I brought a fan in here and I have it on. I, I, I'm actually kind of experimenting to see how loud it is in the, um, you know, in the recording back. If it's too loud, then I will um, not have it on when I'm when I'm create when I'm filming. Um, we do have air conditioner. Um, a couple of years ago, we got our um, heat pump. You know, our, basically it's it stopped working. So um, when we had to get a new one, we decided to splurge and and get. Um, an AC and um, it's actually really 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 nice um, you know they always say oh in Seattle you don't need AC in Seattle and blah 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 but I can tell you last year we used it last year at um, not quite at this time but maybe a week or two ago at this you know last year it was in the hun it hit like a hundred so um, and there are times that it's really warm out and the smoke from the wildfires will hit us over here um, and it's it just it it just wreaks havoc with my allergies and so so yeah so we just dis decided that since they were replacing the whole um, heating system anyway that we would just um, add AC, AC to it so so that's nice that's especially nice on the really super hot days um, so so my idea is to do this one will be an up in the corner type tuck thing I don't know that I've ever seen anyone do this I'm not saying that they have it I just have not seen it myself um, done this way Okay, so one will be up in the corner like that, uh, and then this will be on a different page, and it'll be down in the corner like that. That's my thought. So my thought is to do a two-page spread with this um, as a tuck, and then maybe this down here, or up here, um, as a pocket or a tuck. I don't know if I'll get all of these made on camera. Um, or I might do a lot of fast forwarding. Not sure yet.
Okay, so I paused to pull some papers out. I wasn't sure where they were, so I didn't want to um, stay, stay in camera. So this is just going to be um, backing paper to make it heavier. got these made. Now I'm just kind of deciding if I want to embellish them at all. Um, I think they're really cute. So like this, I'm thinking that it would be glued down. Yeah. Or it could be glued down this way. Yeah, I'll have to decide when I'm putting it in the book. Um, but as far as embellishing, I think some, I kind of cut too far right there. So I think if I can put some words right there, I want something bigger than that. cute or she could be asking who are you I think I like that one and then I like this one for this okay let's just start gluing these down 
um, I don't, for some reason with this journal, I mean, I have done, you know, quite a bit of decorating, um, but it, this, I don't, I, I feel like the digitals and just the artwork and, um, I feel like they don't need a lot of embellishment. I really like keeping it simple. Um, I mean, that said, there, there are, you know, I have decorated a couple pieces quite a bit. Um, so I like that. And then this, just not sure about this. I think I'll just leave this one for now. Um, so, um, I'm thinking I'm going to try to put together my Alice journal and see if I can get it finished so I can um, show it at the end. I'm not sure, actually, now that I said that. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do that. Um, so, maybe I'll just call this a video. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have time to add add anything to it. So, I'll just say goodbye. And if I do add something on, then you know I'll just say goodbye twice. So I hope you enjoyed this fantastic Friday. Um, I hope you enjoyed the fun fact. I think I have a couple more questions that people have asked that I will be answering. Um, but please ask your questions. Um, uh, in the comments here, you know, if you have just anything you want to ask me, um, I would love to answer. I have quite a few new, um, subscribers. So fantastic Friday is kind of me to, um, I do, I like to recap kind of what's been going on during the week a little bit. Um, I usually share purchases that I've made. Um, and that's why I showed the books that I got. Um, I, Sometimes I do a craft, you know, like do make some embellishments or do something. Uh, sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends on time and what I'm up to. And then this summer I'm doing the fun fact, which um, I think is really fun. It's a really great way to get to know someone. So, um, so I'm doing that. And yes, for those that even remembered, I found my Alice um, charms that I got. They were lost for a while. And then when I was cleaning up, I actually found them. But they're so cute. Um, so, yeah, a couple of these are going to go um, on, on the journal. I like it because some of them, like this and this and really even this, um, the clock, they, um, I could use these in other journals too. So I do like that. Yeah, they're very cute. I love this little framed um, rabbit. Super cute. Yeah, got these on Amazon. Um, I can't remember how much they were. I They were not more than $10. I know they were less than $10. So, um, yeah. So... That's exciting. So yeah, so like I said, um, at, please ask me a question. And if you go back and watch the last few Fantastic Fridays, if you just want to see a fun fact about me, um, you can just watch the first few minutes. Um, and it, it should say fun fact in the title. Um, I do have a Fantastic Friday playlist, so you can go check that out there. And um, thanks for watching and be safe out there. Be kind to each other and I will talk to you soon. Bye.